Um, hi, my name is Vincent, and here I will be talking about a uh, machine uh, learning problem called uh, curve fitting. I'm going to focus on the Python code that produces uh, data video with one particular application in mind, which is uh, estimating the shape of a meteorite and computing a confidence region for the shape. But first, let me uh, quickly introduce myself. So I earned a PhD in Belgium in 1993 when on a postdoc at uh, Cambridge University to start apps. I then worked for a number of companies, including Microsoft, Visa, Wells Fargo, uh, eBay, NBC. I raised uh, VC funding for a startup and co-founded uh, Data Science Central, which I, uh, was acquired by Tech Target in uh, 2020. Uh, right now, I'm the founder of mltechniques.com. I'm also an author and a patent uh, owner. Um, so here, let me pro, uh, provide an overview of the discussion. Like I say, the method is implemented in Python. And the goal is to focus on a very narrow piece of the code, the one that deals with the uh, meteorite problem and more specifically, uh, the confidence region. The goal here is for you to be able to use the code, understand some the part of the code that are dealing with this uh, uh, problem and uh, you know, produce the, the output and modify the code and being able to um, yourself do the, the same thing with the uh, meteorites and you know, estimate the, the shape and produce uh, confidence uh, regions. Uh, first, let me show you what the code is uh, capable of uh, doing. So you see it produces what I call data video which is uh, something uh, rather new in machine learning. I've never seen videos like that in the past, so it's one of the original part of the Python code. Uh, I know the uh, originality of the method is from a considerable point of view, in the sense that um, the data set is viewed as a cloud. There's no uh, response or and there's no predictors or independent variable. They all blur together. It covers various uh, type of uh, uh, regressions like you could do uh, linear regression or logistic regression you can even do uh, some um, uh, clustering with uh, this methodology but here I'm just going to focus on the confidence region for the uh, meteor out uh, shape so now let's dig into the, the details of the uh, problem uh, about the meteorite you have uh, 25 points observed on the boundary of uh, a meteorite. So it kind of give you an end about the, the shape of the, the meteorite, which is approximated by an, uh, an ellipse here. Um, and rather than an, an ellipse, I'm going to join uh, the points to create a polygon. So we're going to estimate the, the shape of a meteorite by a polygon. Here it's in two dimensions, but you can generalize to uh, three dimensions. Um, now, for the code, uh, in order to, to be able to run the code on your laptop, you need a few libraries installed, um, NumPy and Matplotlib, which you probably have already installed on your machine. The two ones that are uh, probably new would be MoviePy, that allows you to produce the uh, videos, and Pillow, that does some uh, image processing. There's a number of hyperparameters in that in the Python code. The one that we are interested in, in um, it's the mode hyperparameter. You want to set it to a confidence region, which is one of the important uh, parts that the code is doing. The other part being the curve fitting and parameter estimation. Then NPTS here is set to 25. That's the number of points uh, that are observed on the meteorite. So it's, it's kind of the locations that allows you to um, estimate the shape of the meteorite. And then on line 242, you have n frames set to 50, which is the, num the number of uh, images that the code is going to produce. He will be uh, interested mainly in changing um, two parameters associated with the uh, ellipse 
to the number of parameters like the centers, the um, orientation angle. Here we're going to focus on the semi-major and semi-minor axis, which are denoted as AP and BP in the code. If you look at line 267, you would have to change and the number seven and four that you see here in the code if you want to have a, a different type of shape. The output of the code consists of, uh, um, it's going to be consisting of uh, 50 images. And what you've seen in a previous uh, slide is the result after uh, 15 images and the final result after 50 images. So here uh, you can see the name of the image uh, creating here. So the image are going to be named ellipse. Uh, 0.png, ellipse1.png, ellipse2.png, and so forth. You save these images as PNG files, and the uh, uh, file name are stored in a list called flist. Clip is going to be a, a, an object that stored uh, the, the names of the, of the images, and when you use uh, clip.write, it's going to apply uh, the right procedure to the clip object and uh, create a uh, video out of the uh, 50 images. So that's it for today.